hang out in this beautiful scenery and we saw all kinds of amazing sea creatures and then we found this goldfish. Thanks to our paddleboard buddy over here. Wow. What kind of mouth? <laughs> all right. Take a video of it, Carly. So it's as big as the paddle. It has a giant eye. Not so much a dorsal fin that we could see. This is gonna be gross, but does the eye look eaten? the other end of the paddle. Stink? Stinky. Oh, I see it. Oh, good catch. How does it smell? Definitely fish. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if it's an it's an oarfish. Oarfish? Yeah. Oh, I hope it's an oarfish. An oarfish. It's so thin. It's got to be. It's very thin. It's a very rare fish. Really? Yeah. There are very few that have been uh, recorded alive, and uh, you know, most of what we know about them is from wash-ups like this. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's definitely a, a fish. I can see the fin rays. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Holy cow. You guys were not joking about that giant eyeball. Okay. Yeah. Bring him in. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Whoa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that eyeball. That silver is. Yeah, it's like amazing. Yeah. The skull is really interesting. They're so narrow. Yeah, oh, they're still there. Wow. And the red around the eye. You can see that on this one. And not on the other side. It looks like it's got a Look at that orange. Yeah, and those bandings of blue. So that would be blue in, um, in life. It was crazy, oh, like crazy color. Stop singing again? Yeah, so <laughs> close and open. What is the red around this iris? Which open. Color? It's just color. We are still so enamored of this crazy fish. We've determined it's a king of the salmon which has some uh, local native legends associated with it. Such a really cool, amazing <laughs> fish. We're losing our minds. Yeah. What was it about the jaw? Protruding? Uh, yeah, the jaw <laughs> protrudes, which is how they capture food. Have a good day. You Thanks, too. Great. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. You too. Thank you, Scott. An extremely rare fish washed ashore near Port Angeles over the weekend. It was four and a half feet long, and as you can see, it has gigantic eyes, to say the least. And it's called King of the Salmon, even though, Jamie, it's not a salmon at all. Yeah, Q13's Grace Lim shows us the unique fish and the legend behind how it got the name. They have a gigantic thick eye, so, uh, you know, the diameter of a coffee cup. A rare discovery in Salt Creek, west of Port Angeles Sunday during the lowest tide of the year. A gentleman on a paddleboard flags us down and goes, hey, are you guys biologists? 
there's this dead thing in the creek. It's got a huge eye and I can't tell what it is. To Rachel Easton and her Harbor Wild Watch team surprise, it was an extremely rare fish called King of the Salmon. Its name comes from the Macaw people who believe this fish leads the salmon home to spawn. The tribe's legend has it that catching or consuming the fish will stop the salmon run. King of the Salmon is not a member of the salmon species, but a part of the ribbon fish family. The one we saw was approximately 53 inches long, so almost as big as me. Not a very wide fish either. It was only about three inches wide. So three inches wide by 53 inches long is a very thin and ribbon-like fish. As for its unusually large eyes, the fish typically live deep in the ocean, 3,000 feet beneath the surface, and uses its huge pupil to gather light. They're found in the Pacific Ocean from Alaska down to Chile, but rarely found washed ashore. We see maybe a couple wash up every year off the Washington or maybe British Columbia coast, so maybe one or two a year. So they're a fairly rare thing whenever they do show up. Easton and her team believe the fish swam too close to shore and was killed by the waves. They're using this discovery to learn more about the elusive king of the salmon. In Seattle, Grace Lim, Q13 News. Wow, that is incredible. Absolutely, yeah. All right, still to come. On